Hello great people, welcome back to Global Happenings. Today we're so excited to have you again. The long-awaited uh, stand of the court in respect to televising the ongoing presidential election petition tribunal is out. The court has given their verdict. We're going to be looking at that in a GV and also uh, concerning uh, the consolidation of Atiku Abubakar Peter B petition against Tinibu APC have decided also to speak up concerning it. You know that most of the prayer of these parties, if you look at them, they seem to be the same. So at a point, the suggestion was that everyone should put forces together. Since all of them are calling for the annulment of the election, most of them are calling for annulment of the election and other things which seems to have the same similarities. The forces should be put together so that everything will be done swiftly. But you're going to hear what APC have to say in respect to that. So we are going to give you full details of that in the if you According to the news, the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal or court on Monday, in Abuja turned down the request by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubaka, for the live streaming of proceeding of the petition against election and declaration of Bola Metinibu as winner of the last presidential election. The court held that the request was a novel and not supported with any law in the country for now. Chairman of the court, Justice Haruna Simon, Samani, who delivered the un unanimous decision of the panel, said the request was not rooted from the petition Atiku filed before the court. Justice Samani also said that the request was capable of turning the court to a stadium or market square and that such must not be allowed for now. Besides, Justice Samani held that granting live telecast of the proceeding of the petition would not add any totalitarian value to the petition. Justice Samani finally held that the petition was without merit and subsequently dismissed it. Atiku has approached the court here, hearing his case against the outcome of the February 25th presidential election for an order allowing live broadcast of the day-to-day -day proceeding regarding his petition because of its monumental importance. Atiku and the PDP in the application specifically pray the tribunal for an order directing the court registry and the parties on modalities for admission of media practitioner and their equipment into the courtroom. Meanwhile, in a related development, the presidential uh, the president Leasi Wajibola Metinibu and the ruling on Progressive Congress APC on Monday opposed the move to consolidate the three different petitions that are seeking to nullify the outcome of the 2023 presidential elections. Tinibu, through his team of lawyers led by Chris Akin Olujimi, senior advocate of Nigeria, maintained that merging all the petitions would adversely affect his ability to effectively defend all the issues that were raised against him by the petitioner. According to him, he said, My Lord, the issue of justice should be a restraint on the power of this court to exercise its discretion in granting the order for consolidation. Tinibu pleaded, stressing that the petitioners did not only raise various issues against him, but equally seeking different reliefs. It will be recalled that the presidential election petition court people EPC sitting in Abuja has disclosed its intention to consolidate all the petitions. The Justice Haruna Samani led five member panel of the court said it was empowered by paragraph 50 of the first schedule to the Electoral Act to match all the petitions and determine them together. It therefore gave counsel for all the petitioners the permission to consult their clients and report back to it with the outcome of the meeting. Consequently, at the resume proceeding on Monday, Tinibu's lawyers argued that provision of the Electoral Act the court referred to was not absolute. According to the lead counsel, he said, My Lord, when the exercise of power is subject to limitation of some condition, then it cannot be said that the exercise is mandatory. There are issues raised in one petition that are not there in others. The issue varies. The same goes for evidence 
Or the same goes for evidential issues that are based on pleading that have been exchanged by parties in this case. We want to make it clear at this stage that it will be absolutely difficult for us to consent to consolidation of the petition. I must humbly urge your lordship not to grant the consolidation. Earlier, counsel for the APC, Mr. Charles Edesonwam, senior advocate of Nigeria, argued that consolidating the petition will be against the interest justice. The, according to him, he said the justice factor is a major issue for consolidation because before your lordship can arrive at a just conclusion of this matter. The grounds are different and the wide range of issues raised by parties are also different. The trial will be on a windy and major issues before this court would be lost like a pin in a haystack. Moreover, moreover, it will be pr pragmatically impossible for the respondents to effectively defend the case. It is our position that the issue of justice cannot sacrifice at the altar of convenience. However, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, said though it was not opposed to the proposed consolidation of the petition, it would leave the issue to the court's discretion. Aside from al Haja Tiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who came second in the election, and Mr. Bitaobi of the Labour Party, LP, who came third, the Allied People's Movement, APM, equally lodged a petition to challenge the outcome of the presidential election. Though five petitions were initially filed to challenge the return of Tinibu as winner of the election, however, Action Alliance AA on May 8 withdrew its case and even as the Action People Party APP follows suit to this letter by also discontinuing the further proceeding on its own petition. Wow, this is really interesting, I must say. But then, uh, my colleague is in the house and we just want to look at this issue uh, of consolidation of, uh, you know, the prayers. You know, since virtually all of them are doing the same thing, don't you think that it will fast track the uh, case? You know, Nigerians are eagerly waiting for a speedy delivery of judgment. And uh, with what the court is seeing, it seems as if it's handled individually, it will span to months. And before we know, it's an issue of years. So for swift dispense of judgment they had proposed a consolidation that all of them should come together since they're pursuing almost the same common goal what do you think about uh, apc refusal for such consolidation to who most definitely do not do understand that dynamics don't don't forget that that's the same consolidation that led to the downfall of pdp in politics mm. where even bola swaju himself had to tell look look guys individually as parties we can't bring down the minds of pdp can we all come together they came all manner of parties came together to form apc that eventually with all their arsenals were able to bring down uh, pdp one way or the other if you ask me it would have been a case of um, since it's not a case of saying uh, whatever the outcome is, they will give the mandate to one person. They should have, from the beginning, inception of time, marshal out their their stuff together. Let's just find a way of, first of all, annulling the election first or having a rerun. All of them, their prayers are similar. We are not saying the court should remove uh, the owner and give to this person yet. Since, but now, APC is seeing the fact that the way the timetable is running is to their favor. Today is going to be LP. Tomorrow we we'll leave LP and go to PDP. Next tomorrow we we'll leave PDP and go to the next LP. one. They, then after that we we'll come back to LP. Days are running. Of hours course. are running. Before you know it, the the few minutes they stay in court, two, one, two, three hours, they are done. They have never started bringing out witnesses. They've not started cross-examining witnesses. Before you know it, even the if case not taken, they'll spend more than three months in the process. Why they are trying to? Because, uh, well, well, imagine all of them merging together into one APC as against all of them coming together. You cross examine all your you within the space of weeks they are done. But yeah. APC seeing that now realize that it will use it to advantage. Let's keep shifting it, you know. So to a great extent, uh, I think APC lawyers know what they're doing. Um, but then on the issue of televising the um, 
petition tribunal uh, for that live broadcast. Uh, they, it has been turned down by the judges. Don't you think that this is uh, a transparency issue for Nigerians, being that already we know that uh, a lot of things are not right in this country and the topmost thing Nigerians are pushing for is transparency. But they said that in their own laws, this kind of thing is not rooted there. Don't you think that Nigerians are not happy with the outcome of that particular issue? Yeah, you're right. Nigerians already on social media are screaming, are screaming to the to high heavens simply because some of them are even saying that in legislative house, whenever they are holding chamber, upper chamber and all that motion, they allow media coverage, live media coverage on policies and all that. But this one, they're interpreting the law, they're saying something that has to do with the future of Nigeria. They have the final say right now. Yeah. And guess what? Democracy is for the people, by the people, are for every. But the funny part of all this democracy thing is that the people in question who wants live broadcast, you are not giving them. Uh, the yeah, do you understand? And somebody said on social media, said if you do not want to give Nigerians live broadcast to see what is going on online real time, then by all means provide 200 million Nigerian seats in the court so that we can exactly. all come in and, and see, see it live. Uh, of exactly. course, that may not even happen eventually. Yeah. So you can live see... Live broadcast was the best. It would have been the best. Just keep it open. But I guess that's a bit scared because, you know, some some technical issues that may not all go well with Nigeria. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by this and all that? But whatever the case is, uh, let's say, please, already Nigerians are getting disappointed. Some people are saying uh, that's the same live broadcast that uh, live ups, uh, upload that Mahmoud did not agree. Agree. Now, live broadcast on this issue, uh, issue of a, a legislative PEPT, you still have not agreed that they're already seeing the end before the beginning, but it doesn't really follow. But let's just see how it plays out eventually. All right. Thank you so much for all of this. Let's wait to see. Now, if you look at the prayers, some have already started failing already, especially the issue of live broadcast. Let's see what will uh, happen in the nearest world. But don't forget that Nigeria is just eight days away. Or let me, yeah, eight days or seven days away from, you know, inauguration of Bola Metinimi. Do you think anything can happen within that timeline? Let's.